often you hear people talking about drawing and mark making. Mark making is sort of an arty term for drawing. We use it a lot in art school. You'll hear people refer to drawing as mark making. Mark making is a great way of making an expressive drawing because you've, you're using a variety of different marks. In order to get different marks, you need different materials. Biro makes a nice continuous mark, but you can lightly make marks with the biro, which will give you a different weight of line. If you can see, I'm pressing on with the biro here, I'm not pressing on there. The weight of line I'm using is different. One's heavy, one's light. So it's an important part of mark making, the weight of line you use. That's why we have different pencils. There's a 3H, a very light line, and, uh, and now I'm uh, using uh, a 2B, much darker line. So this weight of line will give you drawings that are interesting because if the drawing has just the same weight of line, it becomes a bit dull for the viewer to look at. So different things to make marks with. You can make marks with the sides of things to help you shade. If there's something you can see like there's bits of stuff underneath here and it's picking it up which give little speckles which is quite nice. If you use um, charcoal again you can use it by the side, you can use it with a thin line, different weight of line, smaller line, dotting, cross hatching too is a different form of mark making. Experimentation is the key. Here I've got a stick that I'm just putting ink on and this gives me a really interesting line because I don't know what's going to happen to it. And sometimes when you improvise or when you experiment, you get things that happen that are quite exciting and unusual, particularly things you can't quite control. And it gives your drawings a real sense of freedom. So it's quite nice to make marks with sticks and ink and paint as well. Um, with the charcoal, I showed you in an earlier video, you can actually work through, uh, you can do it with a putty rubber um, and actually take out some of the charcoal or the pencil and this also gives you interesting tonal variation and shading so you can make marks with a rubber too you can also make marks with your fingers try and be inventive try and explore think about the subject that you're drawing and think how the marks you can make will be interesting oh just seen that little bit of cotton wool there. Let's have a look at that with ink. That gives a really varied, interesting and quite soft line. Fantastic for drawing landscape, more abstract landscapes. Um, so please vary the instruments that you're using to draw with and make really exciting marks because that will help you make very exciting drawings.